So on this video, I'll um, fix the problems that happened yesterday on the first time out, which was the leak and the flipping over. And I'll also um, lube the cable up, grease the cable. So I'll get rid of this silicon cooler that you know flexes like crazy and lets the water come out when it's under pressure. I'll just put one of these on. This is aluminium. They're a little bit longer. So they definitely uh, provide much better cooling as well. Um, these motors are a bit of a pain because the way they've done their wires here, rather than coming out the back, I've got to pull the, the motor off and slide it in that way. So it's just two bolts on, two bolts there, and I'll get that off. Then I'll, I'll do the cable and adjust the strut, which I already have done. Yesterday it was dead level along, so now I've gone touching the um, the ruler here so it's the the end of that is level with this these are the spanners they give you with the boat they seem reasonably good quality too they're not they're not super thin uh, these are 10 mil so if you don't have these just get a couple of 10 mil car spinners you can't have a boat without owning a pair of those now I'm going to take those ones out there the easiest way to get to those is not use this style allen key because you can't get it from an angle if you got one use the round point ones the round ended ones and I can, should be able to just get on there Oh, not quite. Let's go on. You'll find they're harder to put back in to get started than, than take out. Oh, yeah, got him. Okay, the only reason they're a bit hard to put back in is just lining up the the bolts there where you can't really see all right so get rid of this rubbish and I'll put the new one on it's already got the o-ring sitting in there just the dishwashing liquid makes them slide on nice and easy it's better than using uh, oil or um, CRT CRC type spray because that affects the rubber being petroleum based all right just get it started and twist a little bit slide straight on so my wires are up like that so i'll have the have the outlets up like that too up that's me tall there we go one started Sometimes you can be lucky. All right. Okay, so that's in. That took all of about a minute and a half. All right, you'll notice there's colors here, blue, yellow, and white. It actually makes no difference. Well, you can't hurt anything by putting them around the wrong way. The worst that's gonna happen is the, the motor will spin the other way. And if that happened, all you do is just swap any two wires. Forget about these colors, you don't even need to worry about it. If it's spinning backwards, um, choose choose 
maybe this one and this one swap them over it can be the middle one that one and that one swap them over. it doesn't matter just select any two and it'll go the other way that's all there is there i've already loosened the cable doesn't really need to grease again i only used it yesterday okay these cables actually make it easy to grease because there are four mil cable here then there are five mil to here which means um, the bearings in there are bigger than the cable here which means you can get your grease to, to stay on the cable once you when you're putting it in um, when you have a normal boat which is say 316 all the way along the only way to do it right is actually take this off now they did give me some um, grease with the boat but I'm just going to use my own grease for now it doesn't matter uh, this is a little bit thicker that grease than what they give you so that the thinner one is actually better but it's not going to make much difference it's not going to make any difference if it was winter or real, if you're somewhere really cold um, then you'd want to use the thinner grease or if you're stuck you just um, use the grease and use some CRC WD-40 whatever um, spray that up there first then put your cable in and that thins it out you try not to get too much grease on here if you can because that can make it slip in the collet so you can see there's plenty of room there to get the grease around it grease through the hole but I've it's quite warm here today and that actually shot out a lot more than I thought it was going to so I'm making a real mess My, my Teflon liner has slid up there. Just keep that back. Okay, so that's about the gap you want, and that's a, roughly the gap that was in it when the, when the boat was new. You don't don't push it all up, so there's no gap. Because you need to allow for shrinking under load. Cable isn't solid; it's a wire, a wound wire, and it will get shorter as soon as you put some load through it. And then it will bind up and break your cable. So that's why you have your gap. All right, so I've got it tight. Uh, I need a little bit more tube to fit on here. So we'll just do that and then that's the maintenance done should have stopped the leak there adjustment made there um, should make the boat handle better at least stay in the water so i'll, I'll add a bit more tubing and then i'll go for a spin <laughs> 